Hey guys, it's K7, and I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but it's because I've been busy and I have other things to do in my life, and this YouTube thing is not a permanent situation for me. I just kind of do YouTube because I enjoy it, and I got some pretty cool stuff coming up, so stay tuned. And I really appreciate the support you guys have been giving me on my videos, um, the likes, the shares, and I truly appreciate that, really, honestly. But I'm here, and um, I'm still uploading, and yeah, I'll be uploading more in the future. Anyway, today's video will be about Citra Emulator, because once again, I have to go back to this video, because I always get a lot of questions here, and a lot of people are continuing to have problems with this emulator. So... In order to fix this, hopefully, uh, from now on, I've made it so that you guys can just take a Citra emulator that I've already pre-built and use it. I've updated the last Citra emulator to the newer Citra emulator QT, and you can use this one. There's been updates to the bugs, uh, slight fixes in frame rate, and graphical errors also small glitches minor adjustments have been made to this particular emulator um, unlike the other one still had a little more but since it's been updated uh, I was able to make some changes to this one and offer it to you guys so you can download this one right now it's been built for you you don't have to add any files to the Citra emulator you can just take this Citra emulator and just run it from scratch. You don't have to worry about it anymore. You don't have to worry about trying to get a Citra emulator that runs all of your games. This will run all of your games as long as they're decrypted and legitimate. And I've made videos on that and I'll leave the links down in the description as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this video helps you guys and here's a playable Citra emulator that you can play your 3DS games on that you shouldn't have any problems with. But on your part you still may need to download the Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable 2015. Um, you, you may still need to do that so if you're having problems with deals, the DLL files then you need to install that particular program in order to get it working but other than that this emulator is working and it will run your games but anyways that is pretty much it for this video I just wanted to bring this Citra emulator to you guys because it's a newer one and it works better than the one the last one I built so this one is better and it'll work better so yeah anyways guys make sure to leave a like share and subscribe for more videos like these. Until next time, this has been K7. Peace, you guys. Later. <laughs>